it felt like days Only been days, but it felt like months We're gone for a year, only go like once Life moves fast when you do what you want They know she got them stacks. Here, ma. Yes, that's I know that's right. Give it to Granny. Uh, Tell Granny say pay for it. Say you Y'all, I've been with Negative Nancy all day. I went to Beth and Body Works. She didn't want to get out the car with me. Oh, girl. Okay, then. And then, y'all, I wanted to go to the coffee shop. She ruined that for me. She didn't want to watch cake. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is what put the icing on the on the cake for me, baby. She invited me to go to brunch. And then I had to pay for my own. My <laughs> Ew. So, hush. I'm going to go. How you invite me to brunch, but I got to pay for my own food? I don't understand you it. You pay for your own food when you go out with them hard heads. What? Who? What hard heads? Whatever little Negroes. Oh, I never pay for no food. Never. All right, let's go. Never pay for food, baby. I don't know who you think you're talking to. Let's go. Never pay for a meal if I'm out with a man. Let's go, girl. I don't have time. Oh. Because don't try to do that weird one yeah, with me. It's hot. Man, don't try to do that weird one with me. Shit. When you ever seen me pay for a meal, hey. baby? I'm ready to When go. you ever see me pay for a meal? Oh. Broke me. Turn that off. Put his face in the sand. I'm about to drop her off right now. And do the walk. Y'all, tell me why I didn't been on a little two-week car. It is in... Your girl forget. I just don't know how to act. Like, I've been gone all day. I went to brunch with y'all, and that was it. <sighs> okay, I'm back. Yeah, so, your girl take a two-week hiatus and don't know how to act. I totally forgot, like, that I was vlogging today. I was with y'all earlier at brunch, and then after that, I really ain't been doing too much of nothing. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond. No, what is it? Bed Bath & Body Works. I'm going to show y'all what I got. And then we went to brunch. What I did after that? Oh, I went to go see my best friend and the baby. Oh, y'all. And then, wait, let me prop y'all up. Let me see. Let me see if I sit up here. Don't do that. Okay. So, I'm back for the 30th time. See, I told y'all, I don't know. I shouldn't have went on that little two-week hiatus because I just ain't been bringing my camera. I ain't been picking my camera up. But, yeah, y'all. I went um to Bath & Body Works. I went to brunch. And then, oh, I went to my best friend's house. And I sat with her in the bed for a minute. And then after that, I came um, to my mom's house and we kind of just been catching up on power because I haven't seen it since like this season, but like the part one. So I watched everything. I watched what is this? Uh, episode six through eight. And it's been a little juicy. It's been a little juicy. So I have seen a spoiler on Instagram and it was like, spoiler alert, if you have not watched um a couple episodes from part two of power 
come back. Pause this video and come back to it after you've watched. So, anyways. So, I had seen a spoiler on Instagram and it was like, Diana and the baby get killed. So, I was already expecting that to happen. So, Diana did not get killed. Just the baby got killed. But, Diana tried to kill the lady. Like, it's just a whole bunch of mess, y'all. And I don't like, like, I really, 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 really don't like the cop. What's his name? He done played in a lot of movies. The light-skinned man. He look, he's a nice-looking man. But, I really hate him in this series. Like, in this, on this show. Because, why you didn't went back and told no more that Tariq and... Um, Tariq and Monet is the people that told you she was supposed to be meeting up with the little congressman. Not a congressman. Who was he? What, whatever the white businessman she was meeting up with. So now I just feel like it's about to be a whole bunch of mess. But I really want Monet, Tariq, and no one not to be like on the same team but like i want them to be on cordial type time and you know like i just feel like if they stayed out each other's way then they both could you know be successful people i'm mad that this is the last freaking season like 50 why this show is too good to be discontinuing love i need more like i just know when the last episode comes, like, it's not going to be enough for me. I, I'm i going to need more. I love Kane. I really love Kane. I just wish that he would, like, he just want to be so, Kane, I love you, baby. He want to be loved so bad. Me too. I'm a love girl. I love you down, Kane. I will love you down, Bookie. Um, but he just want to be loved so freaking bad. If he keep pushing him away, his mama ain't shit. Um, and then no one just used him. <sighs> come to bit mama, baby. Just come on a bit, mama. But really and truly, while I'm sitting here chit chatting it up, I should be getting ready. I'm supposed to be going to a stiff and paint. That I kind of I hate when I make plans. I know that I do not be wanting to go nowhere. I literally be wanting to be on my bed. Watch me go out and have a good night. <laughs> Watch me go out and have a good night. I'm hoping that's what it is. Because right now, I really don't feel like going. It's a it's a 90s and 2000s like theme sip and paint. You're supposed to come dressed as such. But I don't. I'm not even going to be like on theme. And I kind of hate that for me. I hate going somewhere not on theme. I'm just about to throw on this little outfit. I had got these, the little ruffled shorts um, from Shein. And I really wanted to make that a little outfit. So I was going to throw that on with a little graphic tee. So hopefully the outfit give. I didn't even try it on. But I'm at my mom's house and I know I'm not going to go back home to go under outfits too late in the game to do all that. Let me show y'all what I got. So, right now, Bath & Body Works has a 40% off sale. So, let me show y'all what I got. I needed a new soap. I love, 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 like, crisp morning air and, like, linen scent. So, I got that. And then, I got a couple of their um, car scents. I got Renew and Refresh. I love a good clean scent. Strawberry pound cake. They're a little spray. They're mist, fragrance, whatever. That, that's a really good touch to like any type of perfume you throw on. Put this on top. That's a good like sweet, sweet and simple scent. And then I got um, eucalyptus and spearmint. Cinnamon. Spice vanilla. I kind of wanted like a fall scent really and truly. So that's why I got this one. And I only got the one wick because... It's probably going to last me all fall. And then, I also got this one. I mean, because why not? This one smelled really good. I've never um had the strawberry melon, but this one smells so good. Yes. Oh, my God. This is, like, the perfect fruity scent, but it's not too much. Like, this smells so good. Yes, that smells perfect. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I got all that. Y'all head to Bath and Body Works and get y'all a little 40% off. Um, 
Okay. So this is the shirt that I'm wearing, but I'm gonna do, I'm cutting the sleeves. Let me see. Y'all know how everybody do the little sleeve, the sleeves off. I hope I don't mess it up. This is my first time doing it. Okay. So I think you just, think you just go here and then cut up wait let me straighten the shirt out oh my god I'm nervous I don't want to mess the shirt up because I don't got nothing else to wear I did not come out as great. <sighs> well, y'all, I missed one side up. I wonder can you tell when I put it on, though. I don't think you can tell when it, when it's on. I don't think you're, you're going to be able to tell. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you can tell. I don't think you can tell. Let me go get in the shower. <laughs> water um i'm literally drinking a liquid ivy right now like i've been trying to eat as much as i can baby because i don't even drop me some pedialyte like i've been down bad today like since a girl been down bad okay 
not get repent though, but because I didn't even make it to church this morning. That was like my main goal of the day today. I wanted to make sure that I went to church and make sure that I went on my little walk today. Did I make it to church? No. Did I go walking? No. Y'all know I just got like on my spiritual journey or whatnot. And so at first I kind of battled with like, like I went through a little isolation period where I literally did not go out. Um, I was not really drinking like that. Like I would have one drink and be done. I, I even went like on a little, while I was in a relationship, I did, I just told myself like, okay, well, I'm just going to do 30 days. But now that I'm not in a relationship, I have been abstaining from sex. Like I don't, I don't have sex. So like I really was, at the beginning of my journey, I really was strict on myself. And I used to be in my head like, oh, you can't do this. God going to be mad at you. Oh, you can't do that. Da, da, da. Um, but as I'm getting more into my Bible and I'm knowing the word for myself and I'm just like knowing who God is to me and, you know, you know, I'm a maneuvering. I feel like Christians are like frowned upon if they do like still partake in certain activities or whatever. But for me, like I'm going to have a drink. I'm just not gonna do it in excess like I feel like that's when it comes into a problem like when you do it too much when you overdo it so I kind of like I said I've been kind of slacking up on myself and I've been letting myself drink I'll be letting myself like have a good time I still be going out I'll be acting a fool not gonna lie I'm acting a fool sometimes I don't know how to act when I you know when I go outside or whatever but for one I'm trying not to do it too much and then the second thing is I don't want to do it at the expense of my relationship with God. Like last night, I OD. Why I didn't went out and had too much fun to where I couldn't make it to church. That kind of pissed me off. So I was like, oh, God going to be mad at me. I had to get up and repent. I was like, God going to be so mad at me that I didn't go to church. And I was out drinking last night, having fun. But yeah, like I think that I don't partake in drugs or nothing like that. But I think that drinking is okay. Um, I think that you should still be able to go out and have fun with your friends. So I've been doing that. Just don't do it too much and don't do it to the extreme. So I've been sticking by that. Not like now I'm not in my head to where I'd be like, oh, you can't go out with your friends this weekend because God don't like that. Maybe I'm going out with my friends. But but I'm not gonna do too much. I'm not gonna overdo it. Very cutesy, very demure with it, okay? It's all about balance bookie like yes i'm gonna go out and i'm going to do what to do fly girl everything like that but baby also very very much giving godly girl too like i'm in my bible like don't play with me like i know the word for myself i'm not just going off the he say she say okay i um i didn't had a few different people like just like, hey, I've noticed a change or whatever. Um, I didn't have some people tell me, like, I'm helping them with their spiritual journey, which I feel like, dang, how I'm helping you? And, like, I don't know. I'm so happy that I'm able to show my journey and show my progress to y'all. So a girl was like, hey, I don't know if you know, but I've been trying to get into, like, you know, I'm going on my spiritual journey and you've been helping me. And that just made me feel so good because... I really be feel like I be feeling like nobody pay attention to me for real. I don't know, but um, so I'm I'm glad I was able to. I've been able to reach people through my content. Also, been getting like recognition from YouTube too. I got a couple notifications about like my videos or just like about my channel's performance in general, and it's definitely on the increase. I like that. Um, I got a few TikTok things too about some of my videos going up. So I just hope that my channel really grows, y'all. Like, I'm trying to be a YouTuber for real. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my channel. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe on my videos. Help me get to my 100 subscribers. Hey, hey, she let me get the camera, y'all. <laughs> Right now, this is where you insert the sound. I'm obsessed with another TikTok sound, so this is where you insert the sound where it be like, um, how much is it going for? And then it'd be like, uh, I think I was selling for $40. And then I'll be like, all right, so now this is where you put the $40 part, and I'm gonna say it. 
Everybody laugh when y'all hear this. Forty dollars. <laughs> Yo, I don't get it. Okay, let me just cut the camera. What's the was I on Instagram? Hey. Yo, why my I had my card froze or whatever. My granddaddy went to go pick up the food. Grandpa, what happened when you picked up the food? Huh? What happened? What happened when you picked up the food? I told you, they come in there. Oh, car. They come. They come. <laughs> how you talking about Grandpa? You know how I look? I said, they come and everybody oh, looking at me. Oh, and so what you did? They know he got you. Tell them you got those stats. I said, don't play with you. Stats, stats, stats. Here he is. I'm in Texas Roadhouse. And I got the roadkill with the rice. And from my other side, I got a little salad. They gave me, they gave me a lot of rolls. And I'm only going to eat one. What kind of grass are you at? Because grandma gave me the wrong shit. <laughs> you okay? No. No, I'm not. All right. Grandpa, I ain't talking. You heard Katie cough. I'm talking to Katie. Oh. You want this one, Grandpa? Blessed are you when you mourn, for you will be comforted.